Howdy, howdy, howdy folks, KP here. Today we are working in the shop and I want to show you another little project I've started. Hopefully this one will actually get finished. This is a little blacksmith forge that I bought for a friend of mine. I hope that fan is not interfering with the sound too much. Uh, the actual burner is on top of this trash can here. Burner goes in here, it's forge. Uh, it's got a fire brick in the bottom, and all of this stuff here is KO wool or KO wool, however the hell you pronounce it. That is insulation. <clears throat> Basically, that's insulation to help the forge get up the temperature. That stuff is supposedly bad news. Uh, if you run it the way it is now, the uh, flame gets to it. Apparently, it gives off particles in the air and you breathe that in and it can give you cancer so today i am going to coat that with a product called castable refractory so that hopefully it won't kill me here is my refractory cement that i bought i bought this on amazon it's um I'm what, a half gallon bucket of it it's like 25 bucks or so this is already pre-mixed so the idea is you take that stuff, smear it all over the inside of it and coat all of that wool, just like a, use it like a layer of mortar. And uh, it takes, takes forever to dry. It takes like 48 hours for it to finally dry. And then once it finally dries, you gotta turn the forge on low heat and let it burn for a few hours to suck all the moisture out of it or else it will crack when it gets really hot. But that's what you're supposed to do in order to keep it from killing you, so to speak. Uh, I've got a couple of different tools here. You are gonna laugh, but I've got a couple of putty knives. I've never used this stuff before, so I don't know how well it works, so I stove my mother's I stole my mother some of her kitchen utensils to help maybe line this stuff. I've got some latex glove here. You don't want to touch this stuff with your bare hands. It's uh, similar to the old style insulation you used to have in your attic. It's real, it's, it's, it's real itchy. And uh, like I said, you don't want to breathe that in. But of course, my dumb butt didn't think to get a respirator, so I don't have anything to cover my mouth. So what I'm gonna to try to do is, I'm gonna to try to use this red shop rag to kind of cover my mouth a little bit while I'm working with this. But um, long story short, if 20 years from now I come down with cancer, I want someone to comment in this video and point back to this date and time, because this is probably very likely of how it happened. But maybe not, who knows. So I am going to attempt to put this thing down and film this on time lapse so that I don't bore y'all to death, hopefully. And we'll go from there. Hopefully uh, there'll be a follow-up video when this is all done and it looks right, but I guess we'll see. Until then. All right, we are done. Thank God for time lapse, because that took about three times as long as I thought it was going to. So let me show you what we got here. Here it is. Doesn't look great. Looks like a forest covered in oatmeal, basically. Crappy peanut butter. I'm thinking that after it dries some, I can smooth it out a little bit and make it look a little better, but if not, oh well. This kale wool is sagging down a little at the top here, but it's all right. It's not very big. It's probably six inches wide at the base. And I don't know, four inches tall maybe, but it'll be plenty tall enough for any kind of... Back here, it's sagging down. It'll be plenty tall enough for any kind of blade I wish to put in there. Looking back on it, what I wish I'd done, I wish I'd done this in two parts. I went ahead and lined the entire thing with refractory. Then I put 
my fire brick back in and totally coated that fire brick. It sealed all the sides, everything. You got to be careful going around that hole with the burner to come through because you don't want to get junk stuck in there too much. Anyway, I wish I had done the bottom and the sides and then waited to do the top until after the bottom had dried and then flipped it upside down and then done the top when it was upside down because I'm having a hard time getting it all to stay put. Like I said, this this kale wool on the top is, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's moving a lot. So I don't know. And I just noticed a little piece that's not covered there. Crap. I hope I really hadn't got to redo all this. It's got a big crack in it right here. And you can see a little bit of wool showing through here and here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna get my stuff back out and I'm gonna fix those two little holes before it all dries. So this is the last video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Hopefully I can answer them. Until next time, later.